think of another that's actually about that guy with neck tails was wearing it all wrong with no that shirt. Was, that was horrible. Walking man. down the street. <clears throat> that shit cracking. And let's grab an ash real quick. Right, I need you to do something with this thing. Grab, grab that ashtray and do some of this thing. It's tilted. I think mean, he looks real old now, though. Oh, he's been cracking. I have a tea. Yeah, I'm recording. I know you can't see me. Uh, my assistant's going to fix that in a second. So, then I apologize for walking around and shit. You know a nigga be busy. And do what? Tilt that camera up. I like, yeah, I, got, I can't slide. I'll tell you when. Slowly. I don't know what to do. I hate touching this thing. I feel like I'm missing. Touch the motherfucking camera. There you go. All right. Yeah, she's not good for too many things. But what she, she is good at, she's good at. But she's still available. Moving on. Um, if you're watching this right now, this means that you have become a part of the Brick Rich Incorporated family. Welcome. Uh, as it clearly states in our articles of incorporation, the purpose of our business is to conduct as much lawful business as possible. Um, of course, within staying in the confines of the law, and we specialize in sales and distribution of miscellaneous items. Moving forward. Today's lesson, if you want to call it that, is about computer shit and programs and shit you don't know nothing about. But hopefully after these 10 minutes, just maybe, there might be a small chance that your little pea brain picks this up. So, we're gonna start with the basics. Number one, you have a computer. Fuck nigga, I'm not gonna get mine to show you. You know what one looks like. Generally, we're gonna have something this brand new. And we're gonna fuck off like that. This is an enclosure. Woo. This is an enclosure of what uh, people in the industry, you know, I, I, like Bill Gates and then my, the, my peers, you know, they call this an enclosure, a hard drive enclosure. What this is, this little doohickey, yeah, I, I can't tell how this focus is, so just motherfucking listen. This little doohickey right here, it's a hard drive. To be specific, this is a serial ATA 2.5 inch hard drive. Otherwise known as a SATA. Like I'm sure you have multiple aliases um, on your rap sheet. Moving on. Uh, basically, every SATA drive is going to have three major components. The first of those three components is right there. It should be located if the connectors are facing you. Wow, actually I'm confused about how that would work. Fuck nigga, the big one is the goddamn power connector. The smaller one is the SATA connector. And that last one right there is the people with older model computers or IDE computers, in which case that would be your power and the one in the middle will always remain the SATA connection. The power connection, I mean, I don't really believe I need to explain that, but you might be more ignorant than you appear. So that is the DC power coming from your outlet. What it's going to do is go in there and it's going to make things work. Thus, the one on the opposite side does the same thing. You can look at this as DC and this is AC. 
This is power at your house, this is power at your car. But power is power. Moving on. The SATA cable is very important. Because without this SATA cable, your broke ass ain't gonna get shit accomplished. So you're gonna have to understand this SATA cable. You're gonna have to grow to love this SATA cable. This SATA cable is your best friend. Most people are gonna be working off of uh, It better be a motherfucking Mac. If you ain't got a Mac, cut this, cut it off. Cause I don't deal with your kind. Cause you an ignorant motherfucker. If you're working on a Macintosh computer, it's very simple to locate uh, what type of drive you have. You can go to the upper left hand corner, click on that thing that looks like an old ass Apple. Drag that down, you're gonna see system preferences. Click on that and um, fish around till you find it. I don't remember the specifics, but it's up, it's up there somewhere. Or you can just click about this Mac. Uh, if you click about this Mac, it's gonna tell you what the model number is, it's gonna tell you what the year is, it'll tell you how much RAM you have. If you click more information, you'll have to go down. But that's, you have to know what you're looking for. This right here is what you probably are gonna need unless you have a newer Macintosh that has an Express 34 card slot. An Express 34 card slot. This is an Express 34 card slot. See that? Your computer probably don't take this shit, but if it do, you lucky. If it don't, which it probably don't, bitch nigga, you don't need one of these. You can buy this online. What you need to look up is uh, newer technology. Some nice nifty little thing. There's two types of drives. And, I'll, and I'm gonna get into what this is in a second. There's two types of drives, basically. There's really about four. But the only ones you're gonna, we are gonna be concerned with at this point is two specific sizes, I don't wanna say types, two sizes of drives that you'll be using um, throughout the course of your, how should I put this, um, adventure into computer land. Um, that the 2.5 inch SATA drive, which I have showed you before. Yes, there are several. We have several of these. And there's a 3.5 inch, which is approximately 10 times bigger and 10 times heavier than that little drive. Every single laptop with the exception of MacBook Airs, that occasionally we have a one inch, which uh, like I said, I'm gonna get into that. Um, every single laptop that you see, every single PlayStation, every single Xbox, even the new age TV, you know, pressing the buttons and Facebooking, little buttons and shit, all of that has a 2.5 inch drive. So, the interconnectability and compatibility is there for you to exploit. And by exploit, I mean capitalize. We're gonna get into capitalization later. Um, what you do need, however, if you don't have access or the financial resources <coughs> to um, afford the Express 34 car slot, which you will need at some point in time because you don't want to carry this big shit around, is Something. I don't know who makes it. It says newer technology. It's called the Voyager Q. Google it. Um, basically, it can take. Let me get one for you. Here. It can take a 2.5 inch drive in this little hole. As such. Go ahead and plug that in there. Now you connect it. Want to drop, but you see that? We're stuck. Alright. Or, I have one, 
but I don't feel like getting up to show you. Oh, a 3.5 inch drive. Which will, of course, take up this entire slide and not just the hole. So, with these, um, the interchangeability is limitless, pretty much. Uh, the benefits of having a 2.5 inch over a 3.5 inch is pretty obvious. It's probably the equivalent to a flat screen TV and that big ass TV you had back in the day at your friend's house that wasn't ever on because it was probably broke. But you saw how big it was? Well, that's the difference. Uh, basically, they do the same thing, but one's bigger, heavier, harder to transport. And it's just kind of tacky. Just, if, if you're going to do some shit, then do some shit properly. If they come out with some new shit, buy it. Don't act like you're comfortable with the old shit because you can't afford the new shit. Just buy it, steal it, do what you got to do to get your shit together. If your shit ain't together, this tape ain't for you, bitch nigga. Anyway, um, like I said, a couple months ago, a 2.5 inch drive smacks, um, Size for data store. Oh my bad. I set the camera to stop. I had to take a little break. No, I'm lying. I just fucked up. Anyway, um, what the hell was that? Saddle drives. Blah blah something. Um, we gonna edit this out later. Uh, yes. I don't speak. In the video. Please don't. Um, never mind her. Uh, she has her own issues. Uh, like I said, this is the 2.5 inch SATA drive. Up to a little while ago, the biggest storage capacity available on these was 750 gigabytes. That's 750,000 megabytes or 7,500,000 kilobytes. Not for you lame niggas, but you know a little something. The way you can remember this is very easy. When I say kilo, I mean a thousand. So do some math. You know 28 grams is in an ounce. And you know 112 grams is in a QP. Then you should be able to conclude that a thousand grams would be in a kilo. If you was real stupid and tried to add them ounces, you don't end up with a thousand and eight. But unfortunately, real weight niggas don't sell it like that. So if you get in full weight and it's 124 grams, bitch nigga, I didn't show you. Anyway, moving on. Um, like I said, nowadays, there's something called uh, new shit coming out. <laughs> what that is, it's pretty much every time I turn around, there's some new shit that came out. So whatever we talking about now, by the time you look at this, it's probably going to be out of date. It's up to you to stay up to date and stay up to terms with the shit. And you'll be able to do that by selling shit. Because when you win the seller's market online, you're going to be able to determine what's the best products on the market because they're going to be the highest priced online. So, it's really not that complex. Um, I hate the fact that a lot of people try to make it sound more difficult than it is. This is not rocket science. This is not engineering. This really ain't shit. It's about unplugging some shit and plugging some other shit into it. You feel me? Moving on. There's something called RPMs on a drive. And as I said before, there's storage capacities. As of today, March something or other, who the fuck knows, 2012, uh, the largest storage capacity available on a 2.5 inch drive is 1.5 terabytes. I don't believe I need to break this down for you again. Just rewind this bitch if you're confused. Uh, that's pretty motherfucking big. 
because six months ago, like I said, it was 750 gigabytes. So they've doubled their storage capacity in the same size unit in six months. I don't know what they're going to come out with next. I'm damn sure I'm going to buy it. And most of y'all don't need that kind of space. I don't think anybody really does unless they making movies or recording music or whatever. In which case, you definitely going to need that. You don't need way more than that. But, it's always nice to have the best things. So, I would recommend um, you go ahead and get in one of those drives. The purpose of this video, however, that was just a brief background, is for me to explain to you about drive duplication and about different types of ports, different types of inputs to your computer from your hard drive. There's several different types. We'll start off with the most basic type you didn't see me that's available. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to do something. Shut up. Excuse me. We're going to start off with the most basic type. The most basic type. Don't please don't interrupt me. I'm just doing this goddamn video. I don't know if I just you see the fucking camera. What up, man? What up? That's my dog. That's Spider. What up? He has no um. Hey, put the get the damn. What the fuck? Jesus, see, these are the kind of niggas I fuck with. Niggas that don't have no goddamn common decency. Niggas be talking. I could I could have been talking to somebody. He don't know who I'm talking to. He's like, what up, nigga? What's going on? You usually say what up when your boy comes in. You know, put his dead rain in front of the camera and shit like a like an animal. These niggas living like animals. We are animals. Motherfucking animals. We now, are animals. Listen, dude. Animal listen, listen. Whatever. Well, hey, I can play. I know. Pay attention. I can play. I make, just please sit down and be quiet. I'm going to go to the other side. That, please don't bother me. Please. Please. Like, you like it in my car. That's wonderful. So, yeah. Whatever. Anyway. Um, see, motherfuckers interrupt me. I have to be forgetting shit. We were talking, we, we were going over ports. Ports. These are input and output devices. The output will be coming directly from one of the aforementioned hard drives I have previously outlined earlier yeah. in this tape. Shut the hell up. Please. Please. Yeah. I'm going to cut this shit off. Or, I'm gonna cut. No, motherfucker. I'm trying to do this shit because it is, it is fucking important. So shut the fuck up and let me do it. Please. Thank you. It's not a joke. It's not a game. This is about money. Shut the fuck up. Are you gonna do what you're to do? Seriously. I got now. I gotta edit this shit. Did you? All of a sudden, we edited. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Or you could listen and learn some shit because I'm trying to answer all your questions and other people's questions at the same time. I don't know. You know, I said what up. I'm not supposed to say what up, my boy. When I come I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about right now. No, I'm chill. I didn't say that. Yeah, such a silly nigga. What's that shit? Maybe they can hear you, nigga. Jesus. I know, but I don't want to do this. I just want to run it. All right. Cut action. All right, boom. Um, as I said for the third time. We are discussing ports, input and output ports and cables to your, shut the fuck up. I'm thinking out loud, man. Don't think right. out loud. Jeez, to your computer. Um, I got some rude ass friends, boy. What, what I'm basically trying to tell you, because niggas is going to make me cut to the chase, is you got, number one, the bullshit, AKA USB. Now, someone might tell you that USB is okay. No, it is not. USB is bullshit. USB is slow. USB is that old ass minivan with the wood grain on the side, the Chrysler that you wouldn't ride in. And if, and if that was your car, you was embarrassed about it, that's a USB, okay? So when I refer to that bullshit, that's what it stands for. Underlying bullshit and more bullshit. Well, let, me, let me check that. USB. Underlying shit from a bull. Okay? Dig it. You don't want to fuck with that. We don't deal with that kind of shit. 
And you can't connect the Saturn to a USB. That would be fucking stupid. That's that's goddamn buying a Ferrari, and 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 you have to pedal. We don't do it like that. Um, that's a USB 1.0. Then they upgraded to 2.0, which is what the majority of everybody uses these days, who don't know shit. And uh, it's okay if you're dealing with five documents and very small files and things that aren't getting nowhere near a gigabyte in data. Um, kilobytes, 200 megabytes, those type of transfers can be done in an expeditious manner. However, if you're trying to work with high definition video, or if you're trying to work with high definition audio, um, with higher bit ranges and frequencies, that's not for you. Um, USB, the code is binary. For you lame niggas, when I say the code is binary, I mean it can only go so fast. By which I mean it reads in ones and zeros. So no matter what the fuck you do to your USB, it can still only read so many ones and zeros. Uh, shortly thereafter, oh, let me give you an example of USB port. And we're gonna, I'm going to take you back to this. Which is what I told you you need to buy in the first place. Like I said, Google it. I think, hold up. And that's how much of a bullshit it is. This shit ain't even got a damn USB port. Okay, it does. That's USB 3.0. Huh. But we'll get into that. Found it. This is my shoe. Sick. This is, this is a USB port. She came in at the perfect time. Huh. You can't really see it. Um, because this is the USB micro, but what else? Nah, let me give you a, an example of the USB cord. Here we go. This is the USB cord. I'm sure you're familiar with it. It has a sign, uh, and all devices, inputs and outputs alike, have signs. They gangbang. Uh, that sign looks like a pitchfork, but all of them are uh, different lengths, and at the bottom is a circle. Um, there's several different types of USB 2.0. I don't even believe they make 1.0 anymore. So if you got 1.0 shit, cut this shit off and go buy a new computer and holler at me later. Um, USB 2.0. The majority of the time it'll look like this. This is what's called a USB A. The other majority of the time you will see this. This is a USB mini. In other words, a USB B. Um, there's a third time that's most commonly used with cell phones, and that was what I showed you just recently. The piece to it is called a USB micro. That micro. Yes. Welcome back. We were cut off due to the fact that I have set this particular camera. And he, he, he kind of moved me down. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to lean back and my channel get down the other level. There we go. Okay. Um. Motherfucker. Light on, shit. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I believe we were covering USBs. Um, USB is bullshit, but you will have to work with them for cross compatibility. Um, and anyone watching this video or listening to this, um, it would greatly be appreciated if you please remove your cell phones from the area so you can pay very close attention to what I'm saying because I do not like to repeat myself and I do not like to be distracted from all lengthy monologues see this video really should only take 15 minutes however we're already on 20 plus why? because of the scratching moving forward the next connection we're going to worry about 
I hope I finish USB. I don't fucking remember. I don't fucking care. Is a uh, fire wire. Fiber optic shit. Yay. Um, Firewire's good. I worked up Firewire for a long time before I really got into this whole computer mess. So, um, a Firewire port uh, looks like this. You can't really see it right now. This is a better example. This is a Firewire port attached to its own logic board right here. Uh, the Firewire port will be there on my left. So I don't know exactly what that is in your spectrum of view. Excuse me, that's my right. I had it upside down. These two ports right here are Firewire. The reason it has two Firewire ports is for daisy chaining different hard drives. We can get into daisy chaining a little bit later if I fucking feel like it. Um, Firewire is cool. They have a couple of different types of Firewire. They have Firewire 400, and on the back of our friendly Voyager Q, we can see Firewire 400 ports. Uh, it's the one in the middle that looks like a little house because it's got a, one line on the left, one line on the bottom. One line on the right, and two diagonal lines that meet to form the top. That is a Firewire 400. It virtually does the same thing as a Firewire 800, however, it is not as fast, and it does not provide ample power, which is one of the major benefits of the Firewire port. It serves as a power supply as well. So for most devices using this, especially external hard drives, you, there is no necessity to plug them in. Uh, Firewire is, I don't have anything bad to say about Firewire, you know, because I used it for a long time and it worked very well. Except for the fact that it's, it's kind of slow. I mean, I, I believe it may be a gigabyte a second, if you're lucky. But again, your car, in order for it to run properly, uh, it can't just have a good engine. It needs good tires, or it needs power steering, or at least a good handling system. It needs gasoline. Um, but more important than all of those things is in order for your car to really, really run, it needs a driver. You are the motherfucking driver. Understand that? So unless you know how to use which port in the applicable situation correctly, you're wasting your fucking time. So please pay attention. And if I have not covered enough for what you need to know, read a motherfucking book or look it up online. Moving on. Um, oh, by the way, there is another name that Firewire goes by, just so you're not confused. <coughs> a Firewire 400, aka 1394A. Firewire 800, aka 1394B. Alright? I tried to enunciate so you niggas can hear me. After that, it's going to come the port that we're going to discuss mostly because it is the most important port that you will be dealing with in regards to swapping out hard drives, duplicating hard drives, creating external hard drives, and transferring data at speeds of up to 6 gigabytes a second. That's pretty motherfucking fast. Only thing that's beating that right now is, you know, Apple. I mean, Apple don't fuck off. But that's a, a Thunderbolt cable. Uh, the Thunderbolt I.O. Uh, input output, most devices aren't supporting that as yet. Like I said, this is March 2012. 
However, um, I guarantee you by September, October, November of this same year, you will be seeing a lot more Thunderbolt devices. Um, the compatibility is slim, which is why there's not many, because as I said, Thunderbolt is fairly new. It transfers 10 gigabytes a second, which is faster than your computer transfers files internally. So that's kind of like some Star Trek shit. I don't really think you need it, but I'm damn sure going to buy it when it comes back. I got the capability now, but you know, I ain't, you ain't talking about what I got. Uh, moving on. What you're going to see for that SATA port, as I said, SATA is a data port. And it's conveniently located in the middle of your 2.5 inch hard drive. However, the connector is going to be what's called an E SATA port. E is an elephant you with it. In sign language, you fuck niggas get it. E, motherfucker. E, like ecstasy, like excellent, like elephant. E sadder. What that E shut the fuck up while I'm doing my video. I ain't gonna say it again. The E sadder port. Alright now, the E sadder port. This why, why motherfuckers are changing. The E SATA port stands for external. Now, the reason that this is so important is because an external SATA port will allow you to have a hard drive outside of your computer and use the same transfer speeds as if that hard drive was connected to your motherboard. Basically, you can do shit faster than you ever thought possible. You can transfer whole hard drives of 500 gigs of two terabytes in speeds that normally could have taken days. Using a USB, nigga, your computer gonna say, fuck you, and shut the fuck off. But with these SATA ports, it makes things pretty simple. It makes things very fast. It is my favorite port. Um, this is an example right here of an external SATA cable. Like I said, I'm doing this video myself, so forgive me if the focus is off, but I already know this shit, so it's your fault. Nah, voila. These SATA ports can also be used in something else, but we're going to cover that later. And that's what's called the RAID configuration. Um, what RAID stands for is Redundant Array of Inexpensive Discs. And basically what that means is there's several different types of RAID configurations. The most common is a RAID 1 and a RAID 0. Um, but what a RAID configuration does is it takes two of your little happy hard drives like so and as opposed to them acting as separate entities it brings them together like this using and optimizing the speed from both of these drives by writing data to them simultaneously in other words fuck nigga it will double your speed. So, if you have a RAID configuration and you're using a SATA port with two drives that have six gigabyte a second capabilities, you may surpass Thunderbolt speed. Probably not because generally you're not going to max out. If this is a max of six gigs a second, more often than not, when we're writing data, numerous amounts of data, copious amounts of data, will probably be peaking at five and a half, generally leveling out around four and a half to five. So normally you're not gonna peak. 
which, I mean, it doesn't really fucking matter. As long as it's going fast, it's okay. The faster the better, but you also have to gauge speed versus experience. Nah, you fuck yeah, you know, I want a Lambo, but that bitch a quarter million dollars. However, you know, that Cadillac do nice too. That band do a little nice too, you feel me? It's all what you can afford. A lot of it is very similar because we're all doing the same thing. We're transferring data from one source to another. That's all we're doing right now. That's all we're discussing right now is data transfer. Talking my damn cigarette right now. We're good, we're good. Hey, tilt it up a little bit. Keep tilting it down. Perfect. Good. Alright. Now, this is gonna be the last 10 minutes, because I'm done motherfucking talking. But um, what we have covered so far, we gonna call this motherfucking Cass is Fix My Shit Lesson 101. What we have covered, first and foremost, was hard drives, what they are, the different types of hard drives. Uh, we've also covered how fast different types of hard drives connections are. We cover the difference between a terabyte and a megabyte and a kilobyte and all that goodness. Um, we covered size differences in drives. I would say most importantly, but it ain't important unless it amounts to money. But so far in this lesson, we've covered speeds of different types of cables and connectors to drives. So, at the beginning of this, if you didn't know dick, now you got a little dick, you know a little something. Congratulations, pat yourself on the back. Uh, but I wouldn't jump for joy just yet. It gets a little more tricky, but again, as I said, a lot of motherfuckers will try to make you think, <coughs> white people, that this is some difficult shit. Um, it sounds difficult because it's mainly spoken about in acronyms. I mean, if I just walked around and I was like, I-W-A-C, you'd be like, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? But really all I said was, I want a cigarette, motherfucker. It's the same goddamn shit. So there's no real need to get overwhelmed and confused by a bunch of letters. Because we're all referring to the same shit. Um, knowledge of these drives, most importantly, which is why it's the only one I've actually shown, the 2.5 inch SATA. And by the way, there's three different types of SATA. There's a SATA 1, a SATA 2, and a SATA 3. That's 1, that's 2, and that's 3. They just like them iPhones and shit, first generation, second generation, third generation. Each one is better than the previous model. Um, we were going to cover RPM. I almost forgot about that. RPM is revolutions per minute, just like in a car. Um, the faster the RPMs are on your drive, and they should be located somewhere on the drive itself. If you can't find it, it will be located in your system preferences in the Mac or it will be located under the Apple thing, more info, system preferences. Scroll down to serial ATA and it will give you all the data for your drive. I know I said that fast, but like I said, this is my last segment. I'm going to be talking to you folks. Um, how do we translate hard drives and knowledge of hard drives into capital? That's a good motherfucking question. Lucky for you, I have the answer. But I ain't gonna tell you just yet because that's a long explanation. So what you need to do is get a computer and take that motherfucker apart. 
go to YouTube and watch some videos and figure some shit out. Because listening to this ain't gonna teach you shit unless you do it yourself. I've given you enough information. It's pretty much plug and play, watch some tutorials, and um, practice. Really, practice is the only way you ever gonna figure anything out. I mean, Jordan ain't just jump off the porch, sticking his arm in the rim and his dick in Larry Bird face and shit. You know, he had the practice. So, the more things you do with computers, the more time you spend on the computer, and now that you understand what different things are and what those things do, it should make it a lot easier for you to practice and get the maximum benefit out of your practice time. Because there's a whole lot of money in technology. You know, and based on the way things are looking, this industry is not slowing down anytime soon. Right along with the medical industry and right along with the prison system. That kind of shit gonna get money regardless. Cause niggas gonna get fucked up, sick, shot, canceled. Whatever you call it that ails you, you gonna need a doctor. In prison, I mean, that's the given. They call it prison, I call it slavery, but that's another take. And um, technology, which just continues to advance every single day. I mean, tomorrow they might have a two terabyte 2.5 inch. I guarantee you they will have one of them within the next two months. Cause that's how they do. They probably got it now. They just like, to, you know, dangle that carrier in front of that horse. Mm -hmm. I can't blame them. I do the same shit. Once you know about a drive, once you know the do's and don'ts, what you can and cannot do, you can then exploit corporate America as they've been exploiting us. Um, I believe it's called the old switcheroo. But we'll get to that part later. So basically, you know, I'm giving you an overview. It's not too much else to really get into because like I said, it's pretty fucking basic. Um, everything has a specific plug that it connects to. You plug it in. Then when you was a kid, and they were trying to, you had to put the squares in the right proper blocks, and star was a star, and a square was a square, and a circle, and a triangle, etc. But this is the same shit. If the plug fits, I want to say you must quit, but you must motherfucking connect, motherfucker, connect it. If the plug fits, connect it. Okay, because that probably means that motherfucker was meant for that certain shit. I mean, if you think otherwise, well, you need to just cut this shit off again and do not rewind it. Just go home, uh, go to McDonald's and apply. They are always hiring. Fuck niggas. <laughs> I'm good playing. McDonald's probably wouldn't hire your fuck at least. I think they have aptitude test now. Oh boy, I got shit to do tomorrow, I got shit to do today. I hope this is getting informative. Probably not. I'm lying. You know, the, you, you learn some shit, nigga. Some shit you ain't know. And we just scratching the surface. I wouldn't go further, but I don't know what I'm tired of this shit. So, somebody, hey, hey. Yeah. Hey, cut this shit off. I'm tired of talking to this shit. Talking to this shit, cut this shit off. Yeah, for real. Fuck with y'all in the next segment. Sure.